Hey guys, it's me, Scooby, and one off video. I know I'm starting off with Destiny 2 gameplay. That's literally the only gameplay I have, and I've got nothing for it. Uh, so if you don't know what this video is, I really doubt you would know that, but whatever. Uh, it's basically just going to be my personal review of uh, the 2017, I, I, oh, I think I'm saying the thing, but the 2017 version of it. Uh, I've seen this film on Friday, uh, so I'm not just going to start off what I think about it, like how... Uh, how much better it was in the original or how much worse whatever but yeah so go start off by saying I love this film right I love the original Stephen King uh, uh, looking back at it it doesn't look as good I really like Tim Curry's uh, oh Tim Curry who was playing Pennywise in the original if Tim Curry done Pennywise in this and the type of uh, character that he was could have been better just cause uh, the way Pennywise the way Tim Curry's character was but I really like Bill Skarsgård who plays Pennywise. Uh, he's done a f brilliant job. Um, like when I was watching the film, right, I did get frightened at some moments. Like for me, it wasn't like that. The visuals were scarier. That it was that the sounds, like the s the sound of the rat scuttling across the room, and that like sounded like it's behind you, and that and like everything, like how loud actual Pennywise was. It was really, really fucking good. Um, if you've not seen this film, recommend you go check it out because I'm probably going to be spoiling some of it soon, the storyline and that. But yeah. So I'm going to go into like, my favourite scene for the film, or a few favourite scenes, right? Uh, so, like, one of my first favourite scenes has to be when uh, Mike, uh, don't know who Mike is, he's a black person in it, uh, he's a black child who uh, no one will lose her. Blows her club like him and that. No, no one else got wrong. No one else got anything wrong with him, except the uh, Bauer boy. Like he's, he's a racist. Uh, doesn't like uh, black people, and plus he uh, is just a bully. So he's going to, he's going to hate him no matter what, just because he's different and go live somewhere else. But yeah, the scene like when he's getting bullied and that, like he's getting like hit with a rock or something and that. It's not like that scene was like my favourite, it's that what happens next, like you see you see Pennywise there, right? He's covered in blood and that, then flashes back to him, flashback to Pennywise. This has got to be one of the funniest scenes in the film ever, right? I really loved it, right? Pennywise gets a hand, waves it at him, right? Well I've seen this I started laughing in the cinema, I found it so funny. I seen after that they all throw rocks at the Bower Kid and that. Really, really good scene. Um uh, but yeah, then then we go on to the second scene when they're in the uh, house, right? Basically, if you don't know what the house is, basically this is uh, where it lives. Like, it's got a house as well underneath it, so that uh, no one can actually find it. No one want to go in the house unless uh, Pennywise lures them into it. If I, if I say it, I mean Pennywise, so if any get confused there. But yeah. So, as they go into the house, like, uh, this, this is like, kind of early on in the film. Like, three of them go in, then. Basically, it goes as uh, one of them gets separated. Uh, no, three of them get separated, but like two is two with each other, and one of them's there. So he falls uh, through a hole in the like in the floor. Then uh, he breaks his arm. So then goes on to that Bill and Richie. I'm pretty sure were up there. Then Richie gets locked in a room with with his phobia. Well, not phobia. Like he hates clowns, and it's like just a room full of clowns. In the room, there's a Pennywise doll. And uh, also there is Pennywise is in a coffin, like he jumps out of the coffin or over the coffin or something like that. Basically, it scares him in that. And like that scene there is quite a real good scene. And, like even I forgot what the kid is, but the kid who had, like feels like like he needs all his medication and that. Like he pops his arm back and that. It's quite a good, uh, quite a good and weird like part of the film. And like it comes out the refrigerator like all weird and that and he was about to kill that kid but it's a really good scene uh, also like one of my favorite scenes was at the end right when when they're all in the well uh, they're all in its lair or whatever so they're all there uh, I forgot what the girl's name is but she's fine in that so they all go to fight it then all getting bit up right then out of nowhere they show this courage and that like they're not scared of it anymore they see them over in power and it, then he basically goes away, which leads them to the second film, uh, which will probably come out 2019, 20, 20 or something like that. That's just a rough estimate, but yeah. So that's probably be my favourite scenes, but um, the thing I like the most is that uh, there was just some subtle easter eggs, like 
in the room, as I previously mentioned, that uh, Richie was not like where all the clowns were. There's a Pennywise, original Pennywise, Tim Curry uh, doll there. And also like, in the arcade, there was a Nightmare on Elm Street poster, which I really like. This is Nightmare on Elm Street showing in that. There's just some subtle Easter eggs. Like, that's the only main ones I really noticed. Uh, tell me if you've noticed any more. But yeah, like, Richie and the... Oh, got his name. Basically, the kid who uh, takes on medication and that. They are probably the, fun, the two funniest characters in the whole thing. Like, they're talking about sleeping with each other, like, sisters, mothers, and that. It was just so funny. Uh, like, the structure of the film was brilliant. Like, it was two scares near enough, then a funny part. Two scares, funny part. Kept on doing that. Like, it was just so good the way they structured the film. Um, like, I was expecting, like, to do, like, a quite a bit of horror then like go into funny bits and quite a bit of horror and funny bits and that and then horror then finishes the film. Uh, they completely blew me out of the water with this air. Uh, like I expect it to be one of the best films this year. Um that I'm happy that my expectations were succeeded instead of disappointed. Uh so that's good for me. Uh tell me what you guys think of it if you've seen the film already. I'm sorry, like I'm doing this video and I shouldn't possibly do this video because I don't do film reviews and that, but I like the fucking film so I'm going to do this film. And if you want, to do, want me to do more reviews about games or that, I'll do them in the future. But yeah, so like, just for the film there's so much, uh, it's just probably like one of the best films I've seen in a long time, especially my first horror I've seen in cinema. Like, it was so good. But yeah, like, the Pennywise character, just the look of him, is brilliant, man. The way, like, when uh, he's running to get Bill, uh, just, like, the CGI and that is not good at all times, but, like, it's good enough. Um, now I'm going to go into the scariest scenes in the film. Uh, there's not, like, that many, I would say, but the main one that sticks out to me is when they're in the garage and, like, it comes out of the projector. Uh, this scared the hell out of me, right? He comes at the projector, crawls about the room, like, that was probably, like, one of the scariest scenes in the film, uh, also, I seen what scared a lot of my friends, basically, uh, I forgot, Beverly, that's her name, Beverly, right, uh, Beverly is, has basically had a postcard in our underwear drawer, and basically our dad finds it, and that, it's a bit creepy how his dad goes in to her underwear drawer, I know, like, in the, like, original, like, she gets raped by him, or, like, uh, something to do with raping that, like with her and her dad, so whatever happens there. But yeah, like the source material with the years was quite good, and so I'm getting fucking sidetracked. But yeah, so then basically her dad chases her around the house, then, so they're in the, uh, what do you call it, they're in the bathroom, then she hits him over with a vase, then like she's like, alright, she's, he's out. So she was going to like meet Bill and that, out of nowhere, Pennywise just grabs her by the throat, right? This scared a lot of my friends, but I laughed. I don't know why I laughed, but I laughed, like, because I seen it in the trailers and I knew that was popping up, because it didn't pop up in, like, one of the scenes from before. But, yeah. So, right now I'm going to go over, like, the, pho the child's phobias and that, like, what they're scared of and all of that. So, like, I like how they've done Beverly's uh, thing, like, how they done it in Tim Curry 1, they made it even better this one, right? So, she's in the bathroom, right? She hears... Uh, she cuts her all here, right? Uh, the majority are here anyway. So then she's like, cause like her dad is saying like, you're my special little girl, and she's annoyed about this, so she cuts off her all here to look like a boy. Right. So when she's done this, uh, she washes it all the way down, down the sink, then she hears a uh, kid, right, saying we're help, we're stuck in here. So she gets a measuring tape, puts it down there, pu start pu pulling it up, then once it gets to the top, it's just hair. Then all this hair starts pulling her into the the uh pulling her into the sink right so then uh a big volcano of blood just pops out right her dad can't see it but all the kids can uh it's something to do that they're virgins and they're not and they're teen like kids and that so and uh, they can see it, but adults can't so basically uh, this was a good representation of that and yeah so i also like uh like, the other feel like I kind of liked was, uh, George, the Georgie scene, like, once, uh, Bill was, uh, doing stuff in his house, and basically Georgie comes out of nowhere running about the house, this is obviously not Georgie, it's the dead version of Georgie, what, Pennywise, 
has made to scare Bill. So basically, uh, Bill confronts Georgie down the stairs. He's just there and Georgie's like in this air floor. So then you see Pennywise's head popping up. Then he's limp psyching with Georgie. Then Pennywise grabs Georgie, slams him in the water, then runs at Bill. Right, this is a really good scene, I would say, because it shows that Bill really cares for Georgie, Georgie and he's it, he finds it scary that he's dead. Like he blames it on himself in a way, because if Bill didn't uh, make the boat, then Georgie might have not died then, but then it would probably be still alive. Uh, so yeah, no fun quite far in this video. Uh, I'm going to leave it off for here. I'm going to do that's going to be part one of the video. I'll do another part if you want me to. But yeah. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I'm just going to do part one and part two. So this video doesn't go on forever. Uh, and so the editing way I can edit it will be quite easy. Uh, especially for like just long stuff and that. So yeah. So anyway, um, guys, see you next video. I really hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned for part two. That's if you want that. Uh, I've covered quite a bit of it so part two might only be about six minutes or something long uh so yeah so you guys